First I just want to show you an example of what the synchronizing does for us. Um, this is the opener of our Mother's Day service where we have a countdown that goes last 30 seconds and then it goes straight into a video. And then I'll show you the setup and how I did all of this stuff. So uh, here we are in our pre-service setting. There normally would be video loops running right now, but this is a Tuesday afternoon and so I'm going to just run through it as it is. Um, so the first thing that happens is a 30 second countdown and when I activate and press fire it will fire off videos up there through my lighting console running through my uh, PVP and then when that gets all the way finished it is synchronizing itself with my lighting event happening right now so that cats down and in six seconds the light should go out that's the idea and I'm completely hands off on this and there the lights die down and then when the operators ready he presses play again and it opens up the next video which is our motherhood video that we got I think that's from the North Point crew um, so that's basically what that synchronized for everybody. Now, it could take two or three people to pull that off, but it's a whole lot easier um, with one person doing it. Now, in the context of a worship song, then if I go over to one of our worship cues, that fires off a background there. So when they're ready to advance, then the, the person who's running lyrics simply advances the lyrics, and whenever this person's ready, they can go to the next song and fire off the background changes, and it automatically syncs it all up. There it goes. Right now I'm running um, triple head to go, but I'm running them just as um, duplicated screens. They're, they're uh, tiled, not stretched across it. Um, so that's how we synchronize stuff here. Now um, I'll uh, cut another video here in a moment and show you what the settings are on each of them.